Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're going to make a version of chicken shawarma. And when I say a version of chicken shawarma, this is a dish that Julie and I have encountered in our travels all over the world. Um, and every place that we go to, it's slightly different. Uh, the spicing is slightly different. Sometimes it's a wet marinade like I'm gonna make today, and sometimes it's just a dry spice rub that they put on it. Um, it's presented in different ways. The toppings are different. Sometimes it's wrapped in a pita. Sometimes it's wrapped in a lavash. Uh, sometimes it's just served on top of a salad. So many variations. And those variations depend on a lot of different factors. But the one that I'm going to make today is the one that I see most often here in Toronto, the one that I like the most. So I'm going to start out with some yogurt, a couple of cups of yogurt. Into that, I'm going to add olive oil bay leaves, fennel, turmeric, cardamom, salt, sumac, sumac is fantastic, cinnamon, black pepper, cumin, ground coriander seed, and oregano. And I'm just going to start to stir that together just to bring those spices and yogurt and oil together. Next, I'm going to grate in this little onion, and we'll grate that right into the container. And I'm down to pretty much the point where I don't think I'm going to grate any more of this onion because I don't want to lose my fingers. So, I will save the rest of this onion for a different operation. Get all that onion juice in there. And now, I just put in some garlic. So, I've got a bunch of little cloves of garlic here from our garden. And I'm just going to crush those in. There we go. That's pretty good. Now the last ingredient for the marinade is the juice of three lemons. So let's get those juiced. Almost done. So in the, uh, in the comments section, I get comments all the time with people telling me that I should get one of these lemon squeezers, lime squeezer, juicer type, squeezy juicer type things, um, because they're so much better. I've got a bunch of them. I've got a bunch of them in different sizes from different manufacturers, different brands. And I used to use them a lot on the videos because that's what people on uh, cooking shows use. They just squeeze it, it looks effortless. And what I found was half the time you didn't get as much juice out of the lemon or lime by using that as you do with one of these old school reamers. Of course, that's all personal choice, so you do what works for you. Give that a stir, and we're looking pretty good. Okay, this smells, this smells wonderful. It smells just like chicken shawarma. So I'm gonna set that aside for a moment while we deal with the chicken. What I have here are skin on bone in chicken thighs. And I'm gonna take the skin off, but I'm also gonna take the bone out and I'm going to hang on to the bone and they will make it into our next pot of chicken stock. And some of these chicken thighs that are a little thick, I will butterfly them out just to make them flatter. You could also pound them with a uh, back of a frying pan or a mallet just to kind of make them flat and even thickness. Okay, now that the chicken is all done, we're going to put it all into this tub with the marinade. And the best way to mix it, the only way to mix it, is just get in there with your hands. Now once I get the chicken fully coated, I'm going to stick it in the fridge for two to three hours to marinate. And during that time, I'm going to load up the vertical beer keg barbecue with charcoal, get it started, and get it nice and hot. The next step is a little bit messy. Uh, and it's not something that I do every day, so... I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble. If you saw the video we did on making tacos del pastor or Halifax Donair, you'll know that putting stuff on a vertical spit for me is a little bit difficult, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So I've got the spit set up over top of a couple of trays so that it doesn't drip everywhere. Just take your time and pack it on as tightly as you can. There's no rush. There's no line up. You're not working in a shop somewhere. People lined up waiting for their shawarma.
last on is this onion and see if I can get it on there. I just want to push the onion down tight. Now, the barbecue should be up to temperature, so let's take this out and get it cooking. Okay, the beer keg barbecue is hot. So, if I can thread this into... And we turn on the motor. There we go. Spinning shawarma. Okay, I think we're ready to start slicing some of this off. So let's get to it. Okay, we'll shut off the rotisserie motor. And I just want to slice off... Oh, look how tender that is. Just want to slice off the really raggedy bits. Take those inside. The shawarma is arriving! Yay! Oh, look at that. Hi, friends. Chicken shawarma. I am pretty excited about that. You want to taste a piece? Yes, I do. Okay, there you go. Let's, I'm going to take this one. It's a little bit crispy. Got the flavor. It's got that lemony. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Lebanese pita with the pocket. Now, apparently, I didn't get the freshest ones. So, here we go. We're going to assemble. And this is the way you see it most often here in Toronto. Hummus. I like a little bit of rice. I probably won't have rice. Okay. And this is just... Uh, very simple, easy rice. Then we get the chicken in. Oh, it's a good looking chicken. Some tabbouleh salad. Check out that video. Pickled turnips. I could use extra pickled turnips. Okay. And some tahini sauce. This is our uh, fresh made hot sauce. Three dots only. Yeah, well, just a very little bit. It is very hot. It's flavorful, but it is very hot. And I like a little bit of lettuce. Actually, I usually have cabbage, but what I have today is lettuce. Now, let's see if I can fold this and roll it up. All right. I think they're uh, I think they're ready to go. Our impatience has declared these done. Which is mine. That's I think that's mine. Is it? Yeah. Well, if you could just keep in, you'll know. Okay. My wrapping technique. It's going to take a couple of bites before you get to. <laughs> really not a skill set. It's got all the parts. Looks feels nice and warm. Got all that right mix of flavors to it. All the bright colors. So Glenn. This is good. This is good. It would be even better if the pita was fresh. They're I should hard, have, they're I hard should, to find. They are, I should have made them. I've made them before on the channel. I was just worried that I wasn't gonna be able to make them big enough. And since today I was making the chicken, the tabbouleh, the hot sauce, the rice, the hummus, in order to bring this all together, the pita just seemed like one, one, more step, thick. one step too far. One more thing, I should say. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so you made all those things. Some of these things you could make ahead, mm -hmm. right? Like the hot sauce will keep for a long time. The hummus will keep for, for a long for, time. For a the week. rice is probably good for a couple days. So you could cut down that, but would you do it again? Even if you made all those things ahead of time, would you do it again? Super fun to do. Tastes fantastic. But I still think I'd go to the guy in the corner and spend six ninety five and have them make it for me. They do have really good shawarma there, don't they? Really good shawarma yeah. there. So well, um, so if you've got the time and you're adventurous, feel free. Give it a shot. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.